Hello guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to interpret Locke's process of contract. Locke, Locke says, John Locke says that there will be the two contract to form a single contract. And the first contract will be of the civil society. In state of, he says, in a state of nature, man was pretty well living in society. Then what is the difference between the society and civil society, which was which was naturally, which is uh, the state of nature, and the civil society, which will be formed through the contract. In society, it is natural. Means in this, you don't have to be another any contract. It is informal. It is not in the sense of formal thing. And in civil society, it is not natural. It is created by contract. It is the contract of the contract, so it is a formal. And what are the basis? It is basis. It is based on the reason and on the belief that man is man has natural rights. Natural rights. In civil society, people agree to respect. People agree to respect each other's right. To respect each other's each other right. In this contract, the, the first contract will be the will be to convert the society into civil society. Into civil people will formally recognize will formally recognize the rights of other of other person other person by this that the natural right natural right will take a form of form of fundamental right in first contract civil society comes into existence just a By giving the fundamental rights, it becomes the guaranteed rights. Guaranteed right, which will be will be given by the society, given by civil society. In the first contract, all people will participate universally. All people will participate, will participate universally, means all people will participate in it irrespective of caste, gender, or region. And the second contract in the John Locke's it will be of the government, to form the government. The purpose of this contract will be to form the government and how the government will be the form and what was the power. To know the what type of government block gonna form that we have to first should we know that the he is known as a father of father of representative democracy representative democracy i hope you all know the what is the representative democracy and the second he is supporter of majoritarianism means the rule of majority people in uh, forming a government, the government will be formed by the civil society within themselves. Themselves, there will be there will be representative will be representative who will 
run the government run the government to form the government lock has given the two type of consent two type of consent The, the, as always, the government is formed by the consent, and the consent here he means of the voting procedure. He says that the first consent consent will be the direct consent, and second will be the tacit consent. What, what does it mean? Suppose let's take an example. Suppose uh, there is a Lok Sabha election, and the two candidates are the Modi and Rahul Gandhi. As you have voted for the Modi, but as a person A voted for, as person A voted for Modi, not for Rahul Gandhi, and the person B voted for Rahul Gandhi and not for Modi, but uh, after calculating all the result, that was the Modi found to be the win, the election, and Rahul loses it. In this consent, that the A has given the direct consent. In this, it is said that the A has given the direct consent because he has give, voted for the Modi, so it is considered as the as is the direct consent. But if we will look into the B's, B has also given the consent, but it is tacit consent. Means while voting for the Rahul Gandhi in the Lok Sabha elections, he has always he has already given his consent that if my candidate is loses the loses the election, then also I will abide for the Modi and I will consider him as my PM, as my leader. So it is here to say. So I think you have got to understand that the what it is. Direct consent and indirect consent. Tacit consent. And everyone should abide this contract. Locke says that it is the it is advisable and all will abide to it. He says those who's the representative representative not elected they have assumed to be given given tacit consent Now from this, we got a question that what will be the scope of power of the government? What will then be the power of government? According to the clock, he says that the government is this trust and the people or citizens are the trustees. Are the trustee. So the trust always run according to the trustees according to the trustees government do not have any original power government do not have do not have any original power they have only delegated power they have delegated power which is given by given by people so government has to act according act according according to the law of people they can't act arbitrarily So, what sort of power has been given by the people to the government? People have only given the power which are creating the inconvenience, inconvenience to live in the state of in the state of nature. In 
under state of nature but they are not are not absolute power absolute power what these three three transferred power these three transferred power are transferred power are first right to make law right to execute and execute law And third, right to adjudicate and adjudicate law. In the state of nature, there was the absence of common authority, common authority to make law, execute, and adjudicate. Each branch will have separate function. Each branch will have separate function. Will have separate function. They will not will not interfere in not interfere in each other's domain. In each other's domain. Lock is the originator of suppression of power. Nature of separation of power. So at last, from by seeing the locks contract, we have come to the contra conclusion Locke's contract conclusion is that he is trying to form the limited government to form the limited government which will be which is guaranteeing the rights of people guaranteeing the rights of people of people and here, if government doesn't, if government doesn't act according to, according to will of people, to will of people, then they can revolt against the state, revolt against, against state. So from here, we will go for his Locke's theory of revolutions. Revolutions, what sort of revolutions are there? Revolutions are one is of liberal, another is of Marxist. Liberals are peaceful revolutions, peaceful and constitutional. Constitutional. And for Marxists, the revolution means it is of violent in means overthrow of system whichever is existing at that time Locke's revolution is influenced by the glorious revolution so he was in favor of so he was in favor of peaceful revolution favor of peaceful revolution as the liberals believe, believe man is rational, man is rational, so there is no need of violence, no need of violence. Issue can be resolved 
tool dialog. If you can visualize tool dialog. What are the conditions in which the citizen can revolt against the state? Condition for revolt. For revolt by citizen of the state. First will be the when government doesn't act according to act according to wish of people for second when government does not allow parliament to function when executive doesn't implement law doesn't implement law made by parliament made by parliament when executive put when executive put its people under foreign rule Put its people under foreign rule. However, when it violates the natural rights, natural rights violation. In John Locke, the revolution is of the peaceful. In John Locke, Revolution is peaceful. Means that can that can be that can be that can be election change. Forming the new parliamentarians, giving chance to new parliamentarians. So that's all for today. Bye.